So the first step to getting one of these wonderful little, uh, you know, remote control cars is to be able to uh, control something with Bluetooth. So today we're going to work on the Bluetooth and showing something simple, LEDs. That's what we're working on today. We're going to have this Bluetooth here controlling these LEDs. So welcome to the build. So we have this wonderful, you know, amazing uh, little uh, Arduino remote control drone here, right? We're going to go ahead and uh, show you how to light up the LEDs. So we're going to take this Bluetooth chip here. So I'm going to unplug it so like nothing fries or anything, although I doubt anything would happen anyways. But just yoink this Bluetooth chip here. So we need it for the project. And we'll go ahead and use it. The other things you need, so you need an Arduino, uh, the Bluetooth module, of course, and an LED. I chose, uh, uh, you know, of course, green is, green's awesome, although all colors are pretty awesome on that one. And, of course, we've got some wires. I'm going to use four of them. They're, uh, you know, these type of wires right here. Pointy end, not pointy end. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and use them. Start with the easiest part to put in. you got the LED. LED is very easy in this project. For this LED, you're just going to put the LED in pin 13 and ground is in the code. If you look at it, it'll say pin 13 high, which means this pin right here, uh, pin 13, right there, will uh, turn on when it's high and off when it's low, which will turn this LED on and off. Now, for this, this is pretty simple. The uh, long leg of the LED, a longer leg, right? Longer leg of the LED is positive, shorter leg is negative. So we're going to put this in and, uh, you know, long leg goes in positive, or 13. Is that 13? That's 13. Pin 13. It's in pin 13, right? Stabby. Now negative, the shorter leg, negative, that means ground for this Arduino. So that little G and D there, right beside 13. So we get that lined up and we just stabify it in. Bam. So there's your LED plugged in. It's going to turn it on and off. Great. So here's the Bluetooth chip. Bluetooth chip, also pretty simple. Look at the back here. It tells you what it is. It has uh, six things of which two aren't soldered to, so I can't control the state or that, which affects password and things, which we don't care about for this project. But if you wanted to be more professional, you could uh, buy a more fancy chip that you can edit those. But this one's cheaper. Anyways. You can see it wants 3.6 volts to 6 volts, so I'm going to just use the, uh, a 5 volt on the chip. And it wants G and, G and D, which is ground, which is negative, right? VCC, which is the power, so that's the 5 volts. A RXD and a TXD. Those on the board are a little bit flip-flopped. So on this board, you got the uh, RX and TX pins down there, right? You want to see the RX and TX pins? So you're going to put the RXD to the TXT, sorry, the TX pin. You're going to put the TXD to the RX pin. So they're a little bit flip-flopped, I guess. You can think of it like that. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and take uh, my four wires that's connected to each other. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and connect this blue wire to my RX. This green wire to my TX, D, this blue wire green wire, the orange wire to uh, ground, no, no, wait, 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 those are, those are mixed, yellow wire to ground, there we go, yeah, it doesn't really matter, I mean, honestly, and, so this yellow wire is going to ground, like ground, let's get it dead on so it doesn't look like it's in the wrong pen, and VCC, orange is going to VCC, which is, uh, you know, voltage, so now let's connect them. So orange was VCC, so we need that connected to this 5 volts right here. You all see that 5 volt pin? Yeah, stab it in. 
yellow was ground, so we need this right beside that 5 volt pin, so right there. Get in that little ground pin there. Uh, let's look at my cheat sheet here. RXD is blue, so RXD goes to TX pin. So you see that TX pin there? I'm going to plug that in. And this uh, TX pin goes to the RX. So there we go. The LED on the Bluetooth chip there is blinking, which means that it is ready to receive a signal. So let's code it. So welcome to uh, another part of the Arduino drone project. We're going to learn how to code the LEDs. So to get the LEDs to be able to turn on and off based on our app, we want to be able to, uh, you know, program it. It has to be able to, Arduino has to be able to understand what we're sending it and do something based on it. So here's some simple code here. I mean, it's very, pretty simple. You can actually copy and paste my code and just use it and you'd be able to turn on pin 13 and turn off pin 13 based on the values you're sending. So if you look at this code real fast, it's going to be uh, in the uh, link in the description. You have uh, you know character incoming value, that's just because you're sending characters for the Bluetooth connection. Uh, when we begin, we're going to start a serial because that's going to be the data rate we're getting. Uh, Pin 13 is an output because that's the only one we're turning on and off for this simple LED project. And uh, in our loop, basically, the Arduino is going to be looking on the Bluetooth connection to see whenever something greater than zero is sent. And it's going to check that value. And that value is either going to be a one or zero based on the app. You can change it to whatever you want, but one zero for me. And when it's one, it's going to turn pin 13 high, which is on. And when it's zero, it's going to turn pin 13 low, which is off. And that's it. So basically, Arduino is just going to be looking for ones and zeros that we're going to be sending via the app. And when it gets to one or zero, it's going to do something, which is just turning LED on and off. Welcome back. So now that you're done with coding, let's go ahead and connect to this thing. So to connect to this thing, you need any Arduino app. I'll link one in the description that a student uses this year, but I don't use because I have one that's no longer available on the store, but that's just life. So we're going to go connect to it. It is an HC06, actually, not 05. Connect, controller mode, or you could actually turn on switch mode. Once you have controller mode up on this app, or if you use the terminal or whatever, you're going to be doing something similar. Uh, I'm going to code it. So in settings here, I've programmed into code that 0 and 1 are the things that turn it on and off, right? So 0 and 1 on this are the left and right arrow keys. So let's go and hit the left and right arrow keys see what happens. On, off, on, off. So yeah, it works. Sweet. So this is a, uh, you know, Bluetooth controlled LED. Uh, you know that you connected to Bluetooth, by the way, because that light is solid. If that light is still blinking, you did not connect to it. Now that's the most basic way of uh, starting a project where you control some Bluetooth. Hopefully you have fun. Hopefully it was an easy project. I hope it works for all of you. If you have any questions, you know, leave them in the comments. I'll try to answer them. Although I'm not an expert or anything. <laughs>